everyone. My name is Rachel Self, and I'm currently a sophomore animal science pre-vet major with a minor in agribusiness at Texas Tech University. So last semester, I had the opportunity of working with Dr. Ballou here at Texas Tech University to study the Myria bovis parasite in dairy calves specifically. A little introduction about the Myria bovis um, parasite. It's more commonly known as coccidiosis. So maybe you've heard of coccidiosis. It's very common in a variety of livestock animals. It mainly targets those younger calves or younger animals in general who don't have the immune system of their parents. So it's very common and many times fatal in calves. It causes severe diarrhea, which can lead to dehydration and finally death if it's not caught early enough and treated. So the research project that I was specifically focusing on, it targeted that specific parasite. And it did that through different treatments that were provided to the calves each day in the milk that we gave them. So a few photographs to help you kind of picture the research a little bit. Um, the papers that are shown, so what that is, is those are records that we take every single morning. In addition to the milk that the calves received two times a day, they also received pelleted feed as well as their water buckets. So the records that we take every morning and evening, that recorded how much feed we'd given them the previous feeding, how much was left over, and finally, if we had upped that amount or maybe lowered it, depending on how much was left over. And so that was measured you know, in grams is how we measured that. And also we'd measure how much water was left over in their water buckets. This kind of helped to gauge how the calves were doing as far as like how they were growing and eating. You know, maybe if the calves weren't feeling as well, they wouldn't be eating obviously. So this was kind of a way to help look at that and keep track of that throughout the project. The next picture that we'll look at is the calves here in their hutches. So that's how dairy calves in general are kind of homed in many dairies everywhere. And that's how we kept our calves as well. This makes sure that the calves can't actually have physical contact with one another. So for the research project that helped ensure that there was no cross contamination between the groups. So it made sure that maybe the coccidiosis wasn't spread to our control group or that there was just no physical contact. So there was no problems with that. And the final picture is actually the Myria bovis parasite or coccidiosis under a microscope. So just to kind of help you picture what that kind of looks like. So the research project that I was doing specifically, what we did is we brought in 90 Holstein bull calves. So Holsteins, those are those little black and white calves like the one shown in the picture. And we divided those 90 bull calves into five different treatment groups. So four of those five groups were given 100,000 Amiria bovis oocytes for each individual calf. One of those four groups that were given the oocytes received no nutritional treatment, so we didn't have any you know, help coming their way, more or less. And the remaining three groups were given three different interventions. And so that's what was being tested in the research, is which of those three helped the calves the most. So the oocytes were given on day seven of the research project. And like the papers were showing, various measurements were taken each day throughout the 90 days, as well as there were fecal and blood samples taken. So under the fecal samples that were analyzed, they were able to see you know, how many of the oocytes were shedding after they were given those oocytes and the blood. It helped to kind of see how the calves were doing. So medications such as you know, anti-inflammatories or medications to help fight infections, as well as electrolytes were given to the calves who were having a harder time with the coccidiosis to you know, just help them along in general so that way they didn't become too sick. So my specific part in the research as you know, kind of helping them with their project, I was able to eventually after you know, some time learning give supervised vaccination. So I was supervised by a veterinarian to the sick calves that I had mentioned. I was also able to feed and water the calves each day and measure those. I was able to you know, record the different measurements as well as help take those fecal samples that were taken periodically. And I was just able to learn an incredible amount about the agriculture, specifically the dairy industry and research in general. 
It was an incredible opportunity and I loved it so much. It was so much fun. Finally, I provided a few resources of where I kind of got my, a few of my pictures and some of my facts. So thank you all so much for listening to my presentation.